what's up y'all welcome back to the channel now today um if y'all seen my last video or my last couple y'all would have seen that we finished the we finally finished the fuel pump on the cutlass so now i'm finna do some carburetor cleaner finna use some carburetor cleaner clean the carburetor hopefully that'll make it run a little better because like i said before if y'all ain't watched before in, the, in my other videos i said that i drove the cutlass around a couple blocks and it kept shutting off on me kept shutting off on me if, it, if any y'all know what that is y'all let me know in the comments but my pops told me it might just be the carburetor so he said use some carburetor cleaner. So that's what I'm finna try to do. I'm finna look up a video on um, carburetor cleaner, make sure I don't do nothing wrong or mess up nothing. So all I know is I don't wanna start at first. I wanna spray a little bit on like the throttle and stuff and then um, turn it on and then clean out the inside of the valves and stuff, you know? So I might've said it wrong, but y'all correct me if I did. But yeah, make sure y'all tune in to my other videos y'all let me know what else i should do with the cutlass too or or the caprice what color should i paint the caprice what color should i um paint the cutlass um what wheels what size wheels all that type of stuff you know y'all y'all just let me know in the comments so make sure y'all hit that like button for me too subscribe to the channel if you're new turn that post notification bell to all that way y'all be notified when i drop videos um y'all might not understand but hitting that like button helps youtubers and content creator channels grow help youtube push their channel so y'all hit that like button for me so and um i said so and uh my bad y'all but um yeah i'm finna get ready to do this carburetor cleaner and i gotta fix this alternator because the belt's a little loose it ain't the belt ain't tight enough so I, I need to fix that um i still got it up on my um ramps i need to take it off but like I said before in the last video, if y'all didn't watch it, I record. I recorded a couple videos in one day, so um, it's it, it's raining or it was raining. It stopped now, or it slowed down. So the ground is really muddy, really wet. So I ain't gonna be able to um get the car off the ground. I mean off the ramps right now. It's off the ground. But yeah, make sure y'all tune in for this whole video. We're gonna start the car up. See how I run when I with the new fuel pump on there and um, cleaning the carburetor. So y'all hit that like button for me. Ooh. All right. So first, um, before I do the carburetor cleaner, I want to um, put some antifreeze in here. Let me see if I can sit y'all up. Will I get ready to do that? There you go. All right, y'all probably can't see me, but it's all right for now. I wanna throw some antifreeze in here real quick. Just to make sure it's full and it don't overheat. All right, now we full of antifreeze. Come on, man. Now that we full of antifreeze, we can get ready to do the carburetor cleaner. Let me put this antifreeze in the car. I'm gonna have to get another bottle because this was the one I had in my Caprice. So I'm gonna just leave that one here and get me another bottle for the Caprice. For those of y'all that don't know, this is my 1987 T-Top Oldsmobile Cutlass. It's been sitting for about 15 years, so I decided to go ahead and take it over. Um, put the title in my name, all that good stuff, and and built this car. Because I, I don't like it just sitting. I don't like old school cars just sitting when I know I can do something with them. Or if I like them, do, you know I can build them do them how i want to do them so yeah that's what that's what i decided to do with this one now i should my dad said that he got a euro bumper for me so hopefully we can find that and i can put that bumper on here because as y'all can see the sun the sun damaged this one pretty bad you see 
can't even put that back on unless I like push it some way. But I don't know. I'm a, I, my dad said we got a bumper, so or a Euro bumper, so I'm gonna end up just putting that Euro bumper on here anyways. Now this was what I was saying with the alternator, the belt is loose. So yeah, y'all give me a little second. I'm finna try and tighten up this or fix this alternator belt. And then we're gonna do the carburetor, the carburetor cleaner. So yeah, y'all give me a second while I get ready to do this. Alright y'all, so I done sprayed a little bit of the um of the carburetor. Let's try and give this car a start. First start with the new fuel pump. Oh snap. Hold on. Hold on. I need to see why. Why well, I died out again. I didn't spray the carb cleaner. too much because I don't want to overdo it because I really don't know what I'm doing for real but we've been trying to start it again got gas in it got new fuel pump maybe you got to give it time for the fuel pump to cycle maybe hold on oh that's not it's a lot better it's firing right up though It's literally not even letting me press the gas though. Y'all let me know what that is. It's not even letting me press the gas. It's firing right up though. There it go, now I can press the gas. Watch it die out. Okay, there it go. Idle sound a whole lot better too. Let's see. Hold on, something look like something's spitting out. Oh, hold on. Nah, some ain't right. Yeah, something ain't on right, bro. It's spitting, it's spitting something out. It might be that fuel pump. I'm, I'm just gonna call this car quits right now. It's definitely spitting something out, though. It might be the fuel pump, but I, like I said, bro, when I, every time I tried to put that fuel, the uh, um, fuel line on, it wouldn't tighten on there and even when I put the the um wrenches on it and put anything on it, it would not tighten so I don't know what I might have to take the fuel pump all the way back off and um try to get another one because the boat the the metal fuel line literally would not go on there and I think that's what was spitting I think it was spitting out gas that's why I need two people, bro. Or at least one more person, I mean. So they can tell me what's spitting, what's going on. Cause I got everything tightened. And uh, this is crazy. This is crazy, bro. This is crazy, man. I told y'all I'm trying to learn how to do everything myself. Put the fuel pump on. Now I gotta take everything probably back off to try and get another fuel pump. Cause the boat on there would not, you feel me? It wouldn't, it won't go on there. It wouldn't go all the way on there. But I got it on there literally this last time. I ended up getting it on there somewhat on there but not all the way on there which is not it's not good but 
y'all might understand what I'm saying. If I can get this on, I don't know, bro. Y'all let me know. I want to leave y'all up here so y'all can see. So y'all can see what I'm talking about. I think I know what it is though. Yeah, I think I know what it is. It might be this fuel line that I had to create. That fuel line probably ain't strong enough or it probably ain't good enough for the way it be pushing out gas. It's not right there. Yeah, I think it's this fuel line. Let me try and start it one more time. We're gonna we're gonna go up here and try and see. Ah, uh, yep, I know what it is. Let me hurry up and turn it off. Yep, I gotta take all that back off. It's that metal fuel line. I'm gonna have to get a whole nother fuel pump. Oh man. I have to get a whole nother fuel pump. I don't know if y'all can see it. Y'all probably can't see it from this angle. But yep. I'm gonna have to get a whole nother fuel pump, bro. I'm literally just wasting money at this point, man. I'm just wasting money, bro. I can go ahead and unhook everything now. Ain't no need of messing with this stuff no more. Can't do nothing. I'm gonna have to order a whole nother fuel pump and a whole nother fuel line. So that's gonna be like 80 to 100 more dollars just wasted, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take everything back off of everything. I'm, I'm probably just gonna send it to a shop. Forget that. I don't feel like doing it no more. I already did a lot. I'm gonna see if somebody else can do it. But I'll catch y'all in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and take this battery off. Figure out where I can send this to and get ready to order some more parts. All right, y'all, that's gonna be it for this one. Um, Make sure y'all hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn that post notification bell to all. Um, as y'all, well, I didn't show y'all, but it's leaking. It's leaking gas from the fuel pump where the metal fuel line go in at. And as I, as I told y'all before in the previous videos, um, the metal fuel line that I ordered, it fits the fuel pump, but it, the fuel pump won't screw it. Won't let it screw in. If y'all get what I'm saying probably don't but if y'all get what i'm saying i don't understand it i don't know why i was doing that i had my uncle come over here um try and screw it in because he was already here so i asked him if he could help me he couldn't screw it in it, it's like it wouldn't catch i don't i don't know so i think i gotta order another fuel pump so it's like 30 dollars and i'm gonna have to order another fuel line it's like 30 dollars i'm just sick of it bro i'm so, I'm so tired bro it's I've been doing this for a long time, like three weeks now, which is ridiculous for one part. Now, I was just going to get somebody else to do it. It's probably where I'm going to get. I'm, I'm probably going to can't get my words out. I'm probably just going to get somebody else to do it and put it on because I really don't feel like doing it again. Um, it's this mechanic I know. He, he, he helped me work on my Capri, so I'm probably going to get him to do it. Um, because my dad don't have time right now. So I don't want to just throw that on him. I'm trying to do as much as I can. But I don't know how to do everything. Like I, like I said, I'm learning as I'm going. So I don't want to mess nothing else up, really. And I got to order the bracket, another bracket for the um, alternator. Because somehow it's broke. So I, I don't know. This car is really frustrating me. So 
I don't know, man. This car is really, it's really making me mad. So we gonna, we gonna get this stuff figured out. We gonna get it done. I gotta get the title changed over to my name this week, so I can get ready to get the tags and the insurance. So yeah, that's really it. I don't feel like recording nothing else. We was gonna drive the car, but I can't drive it because it's leaking gas bad. Like it's spitting out gas. I should have showed y'all. I wish I did, but. I undid the car, undid it from the battery, all that stuff. So it's it's over for today. Like I said, though, make sure y'all hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn that post notification bell to all, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. We're going to figure out something else to do. So appreciate y'all for watching.